So Scorpio, in the recent past, we have the Five of Cups. Now, in a relationship, uh, it could have just ended, or probably in the process of ending. You needed to realize that all was not lost. You were probably not ready to move into a new relationship just yet. So you needed to give yourself some time and space, then get back out there. There would have come a day when you realized that the reason the relationship ended was to get you to a place where you really wanted and needed to be. And that is in a relationship that really works for you and work well. That's the Five of Cups paired with the Fool card. Now with the Fool card, this could indicate that you were not ready for a commitment, at least not yet. Even though others could have been pressing you for one, you probably knew that at that time it was not a good time. There's nothing wrong with having fun and yes, this is a positive card for your love life. Lots of fun seem to be in the making and this is probably what you really wanted at that time. If, on the other hand, you were looking for a new relationship, if you were, and hopefully love, then you need to make sure that you didn't let your desire for fun let you overlook the real thing should it, should it have come your way at that time. Because I say that when you're wrapped up in having so much fun, it's easy to overlook the possibilities in a new relationship. True love is not always instant. It's not always instant. So you need to make sure you're aware that it could have been creeping up on you. Now keep in mind those two cards were in the recent past. Now we move on to the present. Now we have the Three of Pentacles. Now this is a very good card in the tarot, especially if you already know someone that you're interested in. This tells you that they see you in a positive light as someone who has the qualities that they've always been looking for, although that love hasn't quite developed yet. So there's going to be a need for patience. If you're unattached and looking for love, this card it indicates that you're likely to meet someone through your work, or it could be, the, it could, it could be through your work, or it could be through theirs. So keep your eyes open at this time. The Three of Pentacles is paired with now the Ace of Wands. Now if you're single, this can indicate the beginning of a new relationship. It's coming in, okay? Make yourself available for love in whatever way makes sense to you. If you are already committed, the Ace tells you that the relationship is about to undergo a brand new beginning and it will rise to new levels of understanding each other and you two will be expressing yourselves in a real big way. Now with these two cards paired, paired together, the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, it's basically just letting you know that there's someone that um, sees you in a very positive light. They're probably already in your world, in your scenario. Um, and if they're not, they're coming towards you, okay? And um, it's going to be a slow, slow-growing um, relationship. And uh, like I said, they, they're probably in your world, though, already. They haven't made themselves known, probably, that they're interested in you, but they, they are really attracted to, to you. They see you in a very bright, positive light. And it'll, it will probably catch you off guard, okay, when it starts to turn into romance and start to blossom. And this is a good thing because it's paired with the Ace of Wands. It's going to feel like a brand new beginning and um, it's going to feel great and uh, it's coming in. The Ace of Wands, it lets you know. It's, it's coming in, it's on its way and it's going to be a good thing. And uh, like I said, this person, they've already got deep emotions for you. And like I said, if it's someone new that's coming in, uh, it's going to take off really slow, but it's going to turn into something really, really big and beautiful. And it'll be a great loving experience. 
and that's going to be in the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the page of wands. Page of wands. Now the page of wands, they're about messages of love and affection. Um, that's coming in too. Uh, it's coming your way. And if you're single, a new suitor with whom you have a whole lot in common with and who is very adventuresome, they may be about to burst into your world. Take a chance on them, but only if you're available. If you're committed and unhappy, now's the time to begin to decide if the relationship can be saved and how long you will try to make it happen. Both parties have to be willing to work in a relationship if your partner isn't. It could be time to move on. This card is paired with a death card. Now, if you're clinging to a relationship that you are deeply unhappy in because you don't want to let go of the familiar or because you hate the thought of being alone, you're doing neither yourself or your partner any favors. Have a frank and honest discussion about the problems in the relationship. And if they can't or won't make changes or you can't or won't, then perhaps it's time to let it go. Not all relationships are fixable, but you should try first. Now, with these two two cards paired together, the um, Page of Wands and the Death card is letting you know that messages of love and affection it's coming in from someone new, or someone that you already know, or someone, or it could be from a relationship that you're in. Okay, romance is about to uh, burst into your world. It's coming in, it's right around the corner. Being that it's paired with a death card, um, a relationship that you're, you're in, if you're in one that's, that you're unhappy in, um, you might be in the process of letting it go. Um, if it's not a relationship, maybe it's a situation. Okay, if you let it go, there's something great coming in. Okay, because you've got the Page of Wands uh, on your side. So, if you do decide to let it go, then it's not going to be um, a long time before you find another um, love interest that's right around the corner. Um, it's, like I said, there's one coming in, and we also saw that in the present. So... It's not a bad thing, but um, the death card is saying you should try to work out any problems before you move on from, from an existing relationship. So either way it goes, if you're letting go of one relationship because maybe you have some unhealthy, um, maybe because it's unhealthy and unhappy with the death card, maybe you're letting that go and you're um, joining or coming together with this new romance that's coming in with new messages of love. And that's going to be the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the Seven of Cups. Now with the Seven of Cups, uh, it's about having several romantic choices. You need to be clear and specific about what you want in a relationship. Evaluate your choices carefully and be honest and as clear as you can with all the people involved then move ahead beware of falling in love in a rush because we all know that only happens at the beginning of the relationship no relationship does that rush ever last forever good relationships even soulmate relationships they'll settle into a less rush based comfort zone at some point keep in mind that does not mean that you have to stay in a rut and the seven of cups is paired with the queen of wands now this is a very positive card in the tarot when it comes to love and relationships if you're looking for um, a love or relationship this can mean that you'll meet someone suitable through a light-haired friend or acquaintance or it could go either way but this card is basically it's pointing towards um, someone with light hair, probably light eyes, um, they'll introduce you. 
to someone that's very suitable for you. And um, right now, you are probably not in the mood to be on your own. So you need to get out and socialize, mix and mingle. Trust yourself and the universe to bring you the love and support you want and need at this time. So with these two cards paired together, the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Wands, it's about you having several romantic choices. So you have a lot of opportunities for love and romance at this time. But you need to be very clear and honest with all the people that are going to be involved. Okay, then make your choices, and but don't be in a rush to do that because you, you feel... A certain way about a certain people just don't jump the gun um, and start something too quick and too fast slow steady wins the race no matter how many uh, romantic choices that you have uh, being that this is paired the uh, seven of cups is paired with the queen of wands um, it's a good possibility that out of all the romantic choices that are coming in coming towards you you're going to meet one, one very special person that um, you're really drawn to. And they'll be extremely suitable for you. And almost like a perfect match. But you um, have to make sure you continue to get out, socialize, and mix and mingle. So this is a good thing. And um, that's the outcome. So Scorpio, I hope this resonates. As you know... As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.